When Governor Haslam announced his plan to expand Medicaid here, he brought smiles to thousands of faces. His plan could help more than 200,000 Tennesseans to get health insurance. Some of them need immediate medical attention. One man is waiting on back surgery and told News Channel 5's Mark Bellinger the governor's decision gives him hope. <laughs> They say music is good for the soul. It helped David Adcox get through some difficult times. He's been suffering from back pain and can't work. It makes it very difficult to sit, and it makes it, um, I have to get like on the table sometimes and just being back like this. I'm like last night, I had a hard time sleeping. The only care he gets is a trip to the emergency room for extreme pain. Cheryl Pitts drives him there. He has severe spasms sometimes, and I mean, I have literally sat and watched him cry with pain. Doctors have recommended surgery, but Adcox doesn't have health insurance. He doesn't qualify for 10 care, and insurance under the Affordable Care Act is too expensive. Well, I went through the marketplace, and some of my prices were, I mean, the cheapest one was like four. $442. Adcox is one of those people you often hear about who is caught in Tennessee's Medicaid coverage gap. There may be up to 330,000 people like him. Good morning, everyone. And welcome. When Governor Bill Haslam announced his plan to expand Medicaid Monday, Adcox could not have been happier. I was, I was about to jump for joy when I actually didn't see it. My mother called me and told me. Adcox wasn't alone. Hospitals see it as a way to fix skyrocketing indigent patient costs. The clergy also rejoiced. It's a day that the state of Tennessee ought to be proud. And I'm thinking it's probably one of the best days of the governor's tenure. The governor estimates his expansion plan will help more than 200,000 Tennesseans who are not insured. When you hurt like that, that's all you can think about is the pain. We went to Walmart yesterday and they were like, Oh, God, I gotta sit down, you know. Adcock says he will be on Capitol Hill when state lawmakers begin debating the governor's plan, and that could be as early as January. Mark Bellinger, News Channel 5 HD. A spokeswoman for Governor Haslam told us tonight it's still too early to know when that special session will be scheduled. State lawmakers, though, go back to work January 13th.